The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right, guys. So I want to welcome everyone here tonight. We're going to have some fun because I got my buddy Mark Hoverson here with me. And uh, we're going to talk uh, about a lot of things that can help you uh, kind of quantum leap your business. So before we get started on that, before I look like a buffoon, and by the way, this is Dagan. <laughs> welcome, guys. Uh, what I'd like you to do, first off, is just in the question and answer panel, let me know if you can hear me. Do I sound clear? Do I sound too loud? Um, I'm speaking fast because we're going to be going over a lot, so I'm practicing. All right, so Virgil can hear me, Teresa, Kevin, um, Al, Lisa, awesome, Al Yasa, Gary, D, Julian, Andrea, Emma, John, David, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, cool. Russell's here, David, Mike, awesome. All right, so check number one's looking good. Um, looks like I can speak a little louder for some people, but most people are good with me, so I'll, I'll uh, vary my voice. Sometimes I'll speak quiet. Sometimes I'll scream a little bit just, <laughs> just to wake you guys up. All right, enough playing around. Okay, guys, um, now you should be able to see my screen. And what I'd like you to do as I as I do whenever we have one of these little party time events is I want you to come over to my Facebook uh, fan page here so that we can interact. Um, I want you to go to just do a search for Dagan Smith and, and the picture of me where I look like I'm, uh, you know, hung over because I am giving a best man speech. And this one, Dagan Smith pages, black and white picture. Come over here and let me know that you can see my page from this point forward, guys. Um, whenever questions are asked, I want you to come over here to the Facebook page. If I turn the event over to Mark and he's sharing some awesome stuff with you guys, I'll still be monitoring the questions that come through over here on the page so that we can interact to the maximum level. So if you can see me, awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Right now, we've only got about 87 people on the line, but that doesn't matter. If we have 87 people here, the deal is before we move forward, I need at least 50% of you guys to come over here to Facebook and participate because we don't move forward with the content until you move forward with participation. Mm -hmm. So it uh, looks like right now we've got one, two, three. We need about 41 more people to come over here and say, hey, um, you know, we're, we're here. So don't sit back and be lazy on this. You're not going to get anything out of our time together unless you participate. So come over here and at least right now, let me know that you're here. You can see my screen um, and that'll get you engaged and that'll uh, make for a much more valuable event for you and I. And Mark. I must be, I must be on a different page, Dagan. Smith. All right, cool. Because I'm over Cool, cool, cool. We're getting a few in. So let me give you guys a, a secondary route for getting over to the page because I know every now and then we have an issue with that um, for some folks. And the easiest thing that you can do, guys, is come over here. You see where you, there's a YouTube button, a Twitter button, and a Facebook button on dagansmith.com. Come over here and click the Facebook button. And that's going to take you right back to the fan page. You might have to click the like button to like right on the wall. I'm not sure if you need to do that. I, you know, I don't really care. I just want it's here so we can participate. Clearly, I'm not uh, amassing fans at some you know meteoric rate. It's just uh, for us here to, to have some fun. So the good news is we're up to about 100 people on the line and um, we're still not where we need to be. Yeah, we're not even close. So I just chimed in, Dagan. There I am. Awesome. See, there we go. There we go. Mark's here. Um, and Mark only has about an hour, so it'll be kind of messed up if we don't get at least 40 people to say we're here and we're ready to party uh, on the fan page within this hour and we don't get to the content. So get yourself engaged. Don't be lazy. Don't watch, you know, I like TV. Don't watch TV right now, though. Come over and, and learn some good stuff that's going to, I think... Uh, help you build your business a lot faster than you think um, at this point in time. So come over, let me know. I'm going to do a quick count and then I'll uh, share some cool stuff. All right, so we got Sherry, Michelle, Mark, Teresa. All right, let me just count. I don't need to go through names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're 
coming. 16. Vanessa, good to see you. Gary, good to see you. Megan, this reminds me of Billy Joel. He would he would stop concerts because he's like, you know, I'm playing my heart out here and you guys aren't even barely cheering. Ex ex and so he would, he, would, he would force the crowd to get into it. You have to. And then he said, it, it was like a tennis match. I'm the same way with my webinars. I'm like, you know, this is a game of tennis. I'm going to hit a ball and I we got to, let's have a game, you know, hit back. So I like it. It is not a spectator sport that we're playing. We're playing, we're playing to win. We're like Ricky Bobby here. If you're not first, you're last. Get in the game, guys. All right. So we're not even close. I'm just going to let you get away with 10 more because I really do want to move forward. So give me, give me, give me 10 more people from Fernando. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need four more. Four more for Mark, Mark Powell. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Two. We just need two more. Alan Stills. Good to see you. Michelle Luminato in the house. Good to see you. Yeah. It's good to see everyone. Bob, man, good to see you. Russell, good to see you. Mark, Al, Lisa, Leonard. Uh, Leonard, good to see you, buddy. Uh, Fernando, of course. Uh, always love to see you. Elijah, Sherry, uh, everyone else that's here. All right. You know what? This is, uh, can I interject? This is brilliant, Megan, to do this because, like, I I know a lot of these names, but I don't know their faces. And I'm like, here they are. There they are. I get it. I feel more connected. I'm here. Yeah. Alan Sills. You know what I'm saying? Like, there you are. A, I love it. A, exactly, man. I mean, this is, it's a conversation, right? It's not a, let me just give you my doctrine. That I'm not, uh, I'm not the president. We're like, we're teachers. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. Guys, thank you so much for participating. Those of you that had, we're up to about 120 people now, so that's awesome. People are going to keep rolling in. Um, here's what I want to start us out with. Mark and I just participated and spoke at an event down in Orlando, and I can see some names here of people that were there with us. It was an absolutely fantastic event. I know for a fact that I made so many people that were brand new that it was just inspiring to an entirely new level and i had the opportunity to speak with a lot of those people and there were three things that kind of separated the new people from those that were getting good results actually let me say it this way there were two sort of mental challenges that people had and one physical thing that separated them the two mental challenges and i spoke to a lot of people were um, first off people were kind of lacking on focus on what to do first in their business to give them a jump start, a catapult, uh, you know, a rocket ship towards profitability. Number two, they were, if they were into action, they were into a little bit of information overload on what piece to put in place first. So first is a little bit of clarity issue. Secondary is a little bit of information overload. And then secondarily, um, the other thing that separated the people from the people that were on the stage and those that were not on the stage was really one thing. The people on the stage all had a product. The people on stage all knew how to uh, persuasively position that product as valuable for that audience. And I will tell you flat out until you learn that skill, um, you're going to be kind of just kind of waiting in the water. You're not going to be moving forward you're going to be watching people move past you and wondering why. And the reason that I bring Mark here today to hang out with me tonight is because he's just about the only other person that uh, when I talk about selling, um, using stories to uh, bond and teach your audience and create a desire and uh, to create products, it's just about the only other person that uh, when he speaks, I sit down and take notes. Um, and I take notes on myself because I'm the other person. So uh, <laughs> I'm like, man, that was really good what I just said there. But all joking aside, man, Mark is, is a extremely wise person. I learned something from him every single time that we speak. So my objective for you guys here is to pull out of Mark how we can help you catapult your business to the next level by helping you to create your product 
and sell it effectively in the least amount of time possible with our time here tonight. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Mark. I'm going to play a little bit more passive, but I'm still going to pester him. And we're going to talk about a lot of cool stuff. Um, and uh, I'm not even sure where we're going to go. So last thing before I go is I want to see some excitement. So I want you guys to say, I want you guys to say this to me. Now, I'm going to write it first. So I want you guys to just follow along. I commit to creating my first product within 30 days at the very most of this webinar because I know it will change my business dramatically. Now, you don't have to write all that, but if you just write, I commit to creating my first product within the next 30 days, you can write it in here in the comments under mine. We got 132 people on the line right now. Um, I need that commitment for us to move forward because it doesn't make sense for Mark or I to share anything if you're not going to use this in a timely fashion. So I need to see that commitment. And as I see that commitment, I'm going to turn things over to Mark. So Mark, thank you so much. It's going to be fun. And, uh, let me get you controls as I monitor what's going on. You are a taskmaster. I am, man. Gosh, I love it. All right, show my screen. Can everybody hear me and see my screen okay right now? I, I can that, see you. You're, yeah. It says Dagan. All right, Dagan. Well, you know, when you say the word commit, can I go really quick? Raise your hand over there. Dagan, if you make me a an organizer instead of a presenter, yeah, can let's you do see. that? That way I can just I can have just a tiny bit more power in this webinar. Because I want to see hand if I can go, I just want to share a it's less than a ninety second closing secret. Raise your hand if you want a closing secret that is so next level, it changes the entire game for you. This is a closing when you have a prospect on, they want to join your MLM. Well, first off, raise your hand if you're in an MLM. Network marketing, something, you know what I'm saying? Like, raise your hand if you're in some kind of direct sales deal where you make money if they join you. Okay, so we've got we've got a goodly sum of people on there. And I think we've got a higher percentage than the group yeah. here. But... Good. I'm going to lower all the hands and now raise them if you want one of my very all time best closing principles. And it's a principle that you can apply that is such a game changer. It's not even funny. So today, okay, we're getting good. That's, that's enough. 25% want it. I think more actually want it. But so I am in my inbox and Brenda, who's on my team, you know, big deal. She writes and Dagan, you guys probably can't see this too well. Um, I can see, on. I can see it. But here's, okay. So this is this sets it up really well, and I just got to go here super fast, and then and then I'll get out of here. But I want to show you guys how to close sales as fast as possible. So this is a quick rundown of what she says in a nutshell. She says, "Can you please guide me on this phone call I just had?" So she, this was this morning. It says five hours ago. This guy watched all the GRN videos. That could be your opportunity videos, whatever your GR, whatever your videos are. She said, this guy watched all the videos. So this means he's about an hour and a half invested in information. And he liked the membership and he could see himself using it. So he spent an hour and a half. Let me frame this up. He spent an hour and a half of time. He liked what he saw. And then he said his why was that he could stay home with his kid. He never sees them and he wants to take them to Disney. And I did the magic wand that Ray talks about for the perfect day. So not only has he spent an hour and a half, not only has he liked everything he's seen, he got on the phone with Brenda, and Brenda found out what was deep in his heart. So, Dagan, do you see how all the stars are aligning right now? The guy took information. He liked what he saw. He was on the phone. He talked about his perfect day. He could see himself using the product. Notice how everything's lining up. Dagan, am I doing a good job setting up the I mean, you so are. You are. I, I'm noticing. Absolutely. Okay. So then one of our big closing questions is, and you can use this no matter what your pay plan is, but she said, I asked how much, what she meant here is how long does it take for you to make $1,000? Um, 
and he understood the value of it all. So that every company has a magic closing line. And ours is how long does it take you to make a thousand dollars? Well, with this, you can make a thousand dollars and blah, blah, blah. So she said, the money was the issue. Okay, raise your hand, anybody. If you ever had a lead, they liked what they saw. They were interested. They want to stay at home with their kids. They want to get healthier, travel. But then it all comes down to the money. Raise your hands, give them up nice and high if the money has ever stopped the sale. <laughs> and now we're getting... Now we're getting the hands. The hands are flying. So she said she trow closed and he would join if the money wasn't an issue. So everything is gold right now. It's golden. And she goes, I really didn't know where to go next after this. I believed, I believed him. See, this is her strike one. I believed him and told him about the free option. Not sure if that was stupid or not. Should I push to get the money at this point? I feel like I should have after the fact, but not really sure how or what I could have said. I talked to so many people in the last few weeks and this is where I'm getting stuck. Any helpful advice? So I gave her some helpful advice here and then she said, yes, that's exactly what I was missing. Okay, so again, raise your hand if you want the helpful advice and I'm telling you, I'm about to give you an absolute gold mine. This is such a gold mine that it I just I can't even hype it, dang it. You cannot hype what I'm about to share. Okay, here's the issue. Let me get to drawing the deal. I told her, here's what I told her. I said, so he said yes, right? He said he's interested. He said he's watched it, he's all game. And here's where you take the conversation. You say so when you say you're interested in staying home with your kids, um, do you really mean that? Like you ask the question, I mean, really? Do you really mean it? And he goes, yeah, I mean, I really, I, I never see my kids. See, what you want to do is you want to use their lips to further state their confession of what's in their heart. Because most of your prospects do not ever uncover the depths of what's going on in their heart. Their lips are the tool to get into their heart. So here's what you say. You say, I mean, really? And he said, yeah, I, I really want to do it. You really want to take him to Disneyland, spend a week there, having you know all those memories, taking all those pictures? I mean, are you really interested? He goes, yeah. And then here's the watershed. This is where the entire conversation takes a radical different turn. It's right at this question, and I want you to write this question down. The question is, and if you're in rapport, you can do this. You say, so John, are you interested in spending a lot more time with your kids, taking them to Disney, or are you committed to spending more time with your kids? Are you committed to taking them to Disney? Because if you're committed, we got to go a whole new direction right now. Are you interested or are you committed? Dagan, did you see what I did? Well, how I sh how that shifts? I'm watching the, the whole thing go down, and I'm taking notes on how you're how you're just presenting information for it to be uh, taken at full value. Absolutely, it's different. Okay, so everything the feeling starts getting wild here. This is where we can go to a whole different level because where I'm going to go now. If I didn't lead with this question, John, um, John, are you committed to spending time with your kids or are you interested in it? Because who isn't interested in traveling more? Who isn't interested in making money from home and not having a boss? Who is? You have to be nuts to not be interested <laughs> in this kind of stuff. But what happens is interest... Um, Who's interested in having a sexy six-pack? I'd be interested. Am I committed? <laughs> That's a whole different animal. Okay, so <laughs> the deal is you ask, are you committed? Now, at this point, all of a sudden, their confession, if they say yes, you get to go to a whole different level. And here's what you're going to say. You say, John, um, if you're committed... I want to show you how we can start moving into that today. Starting with, and in our particular thing, um, we can do Disneyland accommodations, two bedrooms for $398. So what I recommended for her, but do this however it is 
if you're in weight loss, say, are you committed to dropping 30 pounds by Christmas? Because if you are, we can get this thing going like now. You know what I'm saying? So however it is with you, but what I said is you want to bring his, you want to bring his dream, his perfect day that's kind of fuzzy, you want to bring it right into his face. So you say for the Disney thing, my sponsor and I are going to pay for your accommodations. You'll have 12 months to take them. We're going to find a 398 week at Disney. My sponsor and I are going to pay for your accommodations. Okay, we're committed to seeing you get your family to Disney. Now she makes a thousand dollars, so it's two hundred dollars each. So now she's making eight hundred. But all of a sudden, do you see how I'm moving the dream into like, okay, I'm committed to make sure that you get what you want. That's what you do as a leader. So the next thing is to get the to get the you know for this particular product, it's a three thousand dollar buy-in. So when you get the committed thing, you say, John, here's the thing: if you're committed to this. Let's let's take our inventory of your resources. Um, how much space do we have on our credit cards? How many credit cards are we talking about? You got a Visa, got a Mastercard, got a Discover, got American Express. How much space is on your Visas? How much space is on your Mastercard? How much space is on your Discover? Now, some of you right now would be go would start would like be going way put up the big hand. Wait a minute, <laughs> this is way too intense. You know, you can't go, whoa, you know, whoa. Because I haven't even talked about, do you have anything in your IRA? Do you have, have you thought about Citibank cards right now are real lenient with, with credit? If you even have half decent credit, you can submit an application and get five to 10K pretty easy from Citibank. I haven't even gone to the IRA. I haven't gone to the Citibank. I haven't asked about the motorcycle that's sitting in their garage that he drives five times a year. I haven't even gotten to him selling that on eBay yet. But here's the gist of it. Because I was able to ask that razor dividing line question, are you interested in these things? Or are you committed to them? If you're committed to them, I'm going to coach you on how to get become resourceful, how to dig up resources you didn't know you had, how to get to Disney now. I mean, we're going to make it we're going to make that happen for you. We're going to make this membership happen for you. We're going to make leads happen for you. Um, because I can outmatch your commitment. Dude. Oh, Megan, oh, everybody write this down. Write this down for God's sake, and I'm not even using his name in vain. Write this down. Until your commitment and your conviction and your passion pulls like gravity, it's stronger than their doubt, it's stronger than their fears, it's stronger than their suspicions. Until your sense of certainty and the gravity of that overpowers their sense of doubt and the gravity of their doubt, their fear, their skepticism, you have no chance. So what you do, and you know, part of this is getting sold on what you're doing and really believing in it. But anyway, Dagan, I'm going on a hot subject here because my big my big bone with everything lately is you can have all the traffic in the freaking world. I mean, just guys it, it, blow it up, right? And then, you know, people, you got to know how to sell the thing. You got to know how to close the deal. You got to sell it with some passion. So what good is traffic without conversion? And if you're in a network marketing company, what good is conversion without duplication? I mean, what if you can't close? So my thing is, the fastest way to making money is having other people make it for you. Write that one down, too. The fastest way to making money is having other people make it for you. That's network marketing, my friends. And it's purest. Yo. Megan, I'm on a hot you gotta stop me. I just raise your hand raise your hand if you got some value out of that, my friends. Raise your hand. I mean I'm passionate about this stuff. Yeah, all I was gonna say I'm is you, I mean, I I, I feel vindicated. I didn't lie about you. I'm over here taking notes. I mean, these are powerful thoughts powerful philosophies to run your business by um, and it's very rare that they're explained so poignantly and are so immediately applicable what you just shared so far in my opinion is mm -hmm. an answer that I haven't heard in any other way anywhere uh, to a question that everyone here has dealt with at wow. some point or another so uh, if you're asking me are you sharing value I'm getting value, so yeah.
Thank you. And let me let me add one little wrinkle on this. You see, if you didn't take that miracle question of, and you got to come from a place. You see, if you're not committed, you you're never going to ask that question, right? If you're just dipping your toe in this water, see if you know. Ooh, if you're dipping your toe in. And you've got your metaphorical buddy next to you, your prospect with your hand around him, and you guys are chumming. And you're saying, jump in, get committed. And you're sitting there with your toe, all scared of the water. No one's jumping in with you. But I will tell you, if you got a bunch of people at the end of the dock, and you jump, and you do your belly flop, and then you do your back splash, and you're giggling and having the time of your life, and yeah, they're, they're coming on in. So They're coming in, and you're going to have a party. But if you're interested in jumping in the water, uh, they're going to look at you and go, they're not going to jump. They don't, they don't want to play with you because you're not in any Yes, place. yes, yes. Um, my, my apologies on jumping in a little quick there. I wanted to bring up a conversation that we had when we were in Orlando. Um, again, events are awesome. You should always try to get to them. They're, they're game changers for me. Every, every event I go to, I come away with stronger, stronger than ever. And we were talking about this whole commitment thing. Mark, remember, I was, I was telling everybody about what I was going to speak on stage. And what I was most excited about was a question that you're answering, but I think we can address in a different way, which is commitment. How can I be so committed to, my, to, to, to what I'm presenting to people that uh, it just outshines anyone, that you, you just can't lose? And we, we talked about that, right? Was that before or after, by the way, I, I had my little um, EM, you know, the, the, the emergency medical folks kid? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember, Dagan, if that was the sequence. It was kind of a... Uh, all right, so, so let me make this simple because I spoke around a couple things. If you have the question of how do I get myself totally committed, I'm going to give you a practical answer and then I'd like for us to kind of discuss right. it a bit. When I stepped on stage in Orlando, the reason that I was able to go out there excited to share an offer with, with that group was my total commitment and excitement to the value with which I had to share. So therefore, it doesn't matter what opportunity you're in. If you focus on turning that into the most irresistible offer that you possibly can give to a person, then you, can, you can't help but be excited to the 1,000th degree. And therefore, there can, you know, you're at total commitment. You can't lose. If you, if you know there's nothing to lose, if you're more than excited to get out there and share, then you've already, you've already trumped their commitment. And I think that's the thing that um, I, 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 we can be a little bit lazy on, you know, if, if, if we're not thinking the way that we're thinking right now. And so uh, let's talk about offer creations. How can we help people create offers um, if it's for them to recruit people into their opportunity? And that's exactly what you just did, right? You said, here's what this guy wanted. He wanted to get his family to Disney World. All right, well, I'll make that happen for you. Now that's an irresistible offer. Yeah. You know? yeah. I think the the big take, and that's such a great question, Megan, is like, because the offer is everything, my friends. That's all we have is the offer. We don't have anything else. That's all we have is the offer. And so the gist of it, what most people, most people think like this. Um, what's, you know, what's the most I can get um, from the least effort? Okay. This is how, this is human nature, very ill-informed marketer. What's the most I can get from the least effort? What a somebody who creates the irresistible game, the question is what's the most I can give and still make I like it. get worth it. <laughs> okay. But the question is, what's the most I can do? Like what what's the what's the most I can give here and still make it worth it? For instance, with Brenda and that guy. To say, okay, Disney, we're paying for it. We've got your accommodations. We're gonna find a three. We're gonna find a three ninety eight two bedroom, or so you can take your kids. Now she just gave up two hundred bucks of her commission because she's gonna split it with her sponsor, and she assumed her sponsor was gonna agree. 
much. So she might have gave up 400 because the sponsor makes money on that sale too. Raise your hand if you just saw what, what I did there. What's the most I, I can give to this guy? Because it's still profitable. Here's the thing. Dagan, what a loser does, and when I say a loser, just I just I don't mean a moral loser. I just mean in the marketplace, they lose. They don't win. They lose. They're losers. They they think that less money is they their equation is less money is worse than more money. Meaning I'd rather have more money than less money. Well what a what somebody who understands the game is, is some money <laughs> is better than no money. You see, if this guy doesn't say yes, there's no money. There's no profit. There's no nothing. So she can either make... See, the loser says, well, oh, if I'm going to pay for his yeah. Disney, I'm, you know, I'm, all of a sudden my commissions are down. But I am into that. You know, what if she said, you know, on top of that, here's the thing. I got my Craigslist product because Brenda has a caffeine product. She said, I, my Craigslist product is whatever it is, $97. I'm going to give that for, to you for free. And I'm going to give you a 30-minute coaching session where we're going to have Craigslist ads up on your behalf by Friday, by this Friday. But you've got to promise me you're going to go through the go through the product first, and then I'll spend 30 minutes of coaching. So someone would say, well, you know, 30 minutes of coaching, and you're giving away your time. They're just losers. Losers cannot do this business. So the gist of it is some money is better than no money. What's the most I can give and still make it worth it? You see, she didn't say, hey, I'm going to give you a $1,000 cash rebate. That would Agreed. cease to make Agreed. it worth it. <laughs> right? So anyway, Dagan, I mean, when, you, when you're talking about offer creation, everybody, um, raise your hand if you see the distinction. Most people are like, what's the least I can give and, and see if someone will pay for it? Oh, man, someone will pay for that? Oh, cool. Huh? See, with the, with the blueprint that we're releasing now, is I threw a I threw a live conference on there that I'm not pitching at, so there's no recoup of the cost because I'm not going to pitch at the event. So, but when I thought of plus, I thought, what can I do? What's the most I can give in this relaunch and still make it worth it? Because the conference is a pricey endeavor, especially when you're not going to pitch. That's where you recoup a lot of you know. It's great to do conferences, but when you sell it, and that's what that's what butters the bread at the end of these deals. So I just said, you know, what's the absolute most I can give and still make it worth it? So that's the difference. I think just an attitude of starting on that base. Here's the most I can give, and it's still worth it. Versus what's the yeah. what's the most money I can get and give the least value? Because people don't like to respond to that anyway. Okay, I'm on dude. That's that's what I'm. I'm, I'm that sort of positive energy, yeah. just getting people rolling. So here's here's what I want to ask you because I know you uh, just uh, leaked the idea of, of an event coming up. Um, what's what's the topic of this event? Um, can I come? Can Dagan come? Um, I would no, right. I would love nobody more. Dagan can come. Here's the this particular event with Plus is going to be a an all day mastermind. So the difference with this event, how I'm structuring it versus a lot of other events is here's the here's the speaker which will primarily be me now if you come I'd love you to hop up there and talk about traffic but the gist of it is is it's more Socratic okay and Socratic means uh, we're going back and forth so I'm going to talk about how to create products and there might be a group of 20 people that huddle together and share existing what they what they created how they sold it who bought it problems and then where did where did they get stuck? How come it didn't scale? How come they didn't generate JV traffic? And there might be the room might have groups of these twenties all over, and then I kind of lead a, a discussion with the whole room. Now I can do this. I've done this before, so that's different. It's an implementation mastermind versus what is typical, where a guy gets up and, or a girl gets up and speaks. And then you know sells, which is legit. Oh, that's fair. I do it. I host those events too. But this particular event is going to be super implementation. There's going to be a lot of synergy in the room, and in the in our space, an event like that's like well, yeah. I mean, and then I would also ask you on that because you're going to put a thousand dollar a day tag on that. Well, 
I mean, that's if it's just Mark, but if it's Mark and, you know, I mean, if I show up and I don't know who else you, you, you kind of got that's been got their, you know, skin in the game. I think that kind of adds to it. You know what I mean? Big, I All mean, right. if you're coming, All it's right. February 11th, get there. Phoenix, I'd love it. No, I mean, that'd be awesome. The catch is there's no pitching. Nobody can be, I believe in selling more than probably 99.9% of the human race, but I did promise this. Is Pure mastermind, no selling. So you, go, you don't get to see people get up on stage and give awesome offers because they're excited. But, um, you know, fair enough, fair enough. I'll come in and, and not sell stuff. That's cool. Because... Uh, the best time, honestly, is is when you're like at out at dinner or you know at the bar and you're you're just talking game and you know you're meeting new people that are just getting started and you can just see the 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 light switch is going on in their head and them seeing hey this guy's just like me you know what I mean so totally. And Dagan, just while we're at it, we've got 20 minutes left, and I want to go over content, but I also want to make sure people know our link to get to that conference. I mean, it's the blueprint, dagansmith.com forward slash info blueprint. That's the link to learn about the plus project and the live event, plus the whole blueprint. With the closing, the closing strategies, module seven inside the blueprint, and you've got to know You've got to know these closing strategies if you want to make money and you want to make it well. Because people, Megan, they get their leads, they get them on the phone, they get them interested. Just, I mean, exact. And Brenda's made thousands and thousands of dollars. So Brenda's not like this is her first ever sale. She's made sales. She's just saying, hey, I'm getting stuck on here. And she's even made sales. But the gist of it is you've got to learn how to take objections that aren't objections turn them in turn yeah. those skeptics yeah man um, I mean, that's the old so here's thing. here's a one thing so. that i wanted to to first off i just want to again say what you already shared in terms of closing people is going to change a lot of a lot of people's game i mean it, it's it's awesome so i think you just did what you did for brenda by sharing her story in mass and leverage here so thank you thank you we talked about offers. We talked about events. Here's what I want to share with, and this is just kind of like hot off the presses. I've been promising my guys uh, at Maximum Leverage that we're going to do an event this year, and we are. I've, I've chosen the, the date. It's going to happen. Um, it's happening in in uh, December. December 10th is the, the date, and if it's not December 10th, it's December 9th or 11th. And uh, that's where we will talk about the traffic side of stuff. So if you guys decide to come and, and hang out in, uh, where, where's the event, by the way? I'm going to do it close to home. So either D.C. or Baltimore. Um, I'll, I'll also give you guys a, a ticket to come on over down to either D.C. or Baltimore and um, learn about some cool traffic stuff and, uh, you know, just some other conversion stuff. So. Two events for, I don't even know what the price is of, of this event yet, for one. And I, I don't think that's a losing proposition. Um, so back to the, the question hand. We talked about offers. Right. We talked about events. We talked about um, closing people down. I love to talk about this topic of storytelling. Um, I, I, I'd love it if we can get into that a little bit because, yeah. again, at that event in Orlando, um, I, you know, I, I, I got the chance to kind of tell my story and, um, I had people coming up and saying, you know, you really touched me. I was crying or, you know, I, and some people that took advantage of what I had to offer there and they didn't even know what it was. It just, I, I just know I need what you have. And it was because of stories, stories, in my opinion, I mean, write this down guys, stories are absolutely magic. And Mark is a He's, he's, I don't know any better storyteller than him. So can we please share some storytelling magic um, with, with, with folks tonight? Well, let me share a story to start off the answer. <laughs> I'm dead serious, though. Here, here's, a, here's a strategy. So we're getting ready to relaunch this info blueprint. And 
it sold like a candy a few months ago. So we were like, hey, we're just going to reopen it. No big deal. So I'm in Hawaii, and the plan was I was going to come right back from Hawaii, and we were just going to relaunch Plus. Well, it wasn't Plus. It was just Blueprint. We were just going to do the Blueprint again. Same deal. Here we go. It's for sale. Enjoy. But I went to Disney, and all of a sudden, there's a Disney resort in Hawaii, and it was just amazing, you know, and Mickey and Minnie and we were hugging them and the food and the service and the bars and the quad caliber and the playgrounds and everything. Disney just absolute wowed the crap out of me. Like I was so in wow factor. So I bought a book on Walt Disney, like a biography. And his thing was always take existing whatever they had that existed and plus it. Make it better. Make it better. Make it better. So they wanted to make the Disneyland experience better, so they kept plussing it, plussing it, plussing it, plussing it, plussing it. And anyway, the whole plus deal for the Info Blueprint Plus came out of that experience. So I share the story, and people go, "Oh, I get it. It's not just the release. It's not just the relaunch of the Info Blueprint. It's plus with a live event with seven interactive webinars. You know what I'm saying?" So. Here's the storytelling secret is couch. Use the word couch. Couch everything in stories. Couch it in stories. Like when I started with the closing story, I could have started and said, okay, everybody, here's the thing. There's going to be people who are interested, and then there's going to be people who are committed. What you want to do with the lead generically? See how boring that I'm already bored talking about it. When you have somebody who's interested, you say, are you interested or are you committed? And when they say, it just sucks. It's so boring. So what I did knowingly, because it's my MO, I said, you know what? I'm going to share the story of Brenda. And then I started sharing the story of how this guy, he, a real guy, he was an hour and a half into the videos. He liked what he saw. He got on the phone. Everything was going. But then the money came up. And he wanted to spend time with his little kids. And I told the story. And all of a sudden, in the couching of the story, I could drop the lesson. And the lesson, it was just like putting the pill in the middle of the meat. You, know? you put the pill in the candy for the children. You put the pill in the chocolate cake for the kid, and the kid can take the pill. So I couch as much as possible in the story. When I'm doing webinars for for my primary company, and it's that $3,000 they got to pay. I say, here's the deal. When I got started, I, I couldn't even afford going on vacation. I put it on a 22% credit card, and I just bought it. Now, I could say, do you have any high interest credit cards in your pocket? If so, you can buy this. Doesn't matter if it's 22%. I could have said that, but I couch it in my own story. When I bought this, I didn't have money to travel. Heck, I could barely afford the 3K, but I did it on a 22% credit card. See, and then all of a sudden, the story, it teaches. It's like, oh, okay. I, but I said, but I wanted it. I wanted it. I wanted a new future for my family. I wanted this. I wanted that. And all of a sudden, the prospect goes from, you know, here's them watching the webinar you know, and then all of a sudden they, they hear me on the other side of the world or whatever, talking about the story of how I wanted it, how I pulled out my 22% credit card, how I did it because I wanted to spend time with my kids. And all of a sudden they go from just that and all of a sudden it's almost like they, yeah. they become me. Like I get into their soul a little bit there. And it rests. And then, then all of a sudden, guess what they're doing? They're pulling out their credit card at 28%. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a gimmick. It's true. I mean, this really is the story. So as much as possible regarding anything you're teaching, I mean, tra teaching traffic strategies are a little trickier because they're so technical. But even then, like when we sold Michelle Alpha's Facebook course, my thing was, Michelle, tell us, tell me your experience with Facebook. How did you get into it? What was your deal? And she's like, well, I just, I started spending a lot of time on Facebook. I just started liking like being around, and then I thought, well, what if I could make money with it? And then, you know, like, so the story is what led into the technical training on Facebook. As much as possible, tell stories. Raise your hand if that makes sense, everybody. Anything you can do with your product, if you want to really explode your product, tell your story 
about your product, whatever it is. I remember we had one of the fastest growing teams in a uh, nutritional and it had a skincare line. And you know, I didn't say, guess what, our skincare, it took, it took seven years of development and it's paraben free. And I couldn't went into all that stuff, but here's what I said. I said, I joined this company and I wanted to try out their whole product line. So I got their skincare and I'm a guy, I mean, I don't really use skincare or whatever, but it was funny. A couple weeks ago, Shani and I kissed and our cheeks touched. And we said at the same time, well, your skin feels really good. We said it to each other, like, yeah, your skin really soft. And then we realized, ah, we're both taking the skin stuff. Now, raise your hand if that sells a little bit better <laughs> than uh, this is paraben-free, developed in Swiss, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's the story. And then this is a true story. I was at a bar. I hadn't seen a friend for a while. I was on the skin line for about three months. And literally, when he saw me, he said, Mark, you look so young. That's what he said. He actually said, you look so young. And I just laughed and I laughed and I thought, well, here's the thing. I'm taking these nutraceuticals. I've taken these vitamins and doing the skincare. That's a lot more powerful story than the boring crap of your 100% potency guarantee of your nutritional and yeah. fiber content and your stupid protein shake and all this crap. Yeah, let me, let me pause you, you real quick because I want to share one thing that you just said that I think people know. probably missed. The last story you just said was someone else saying, Mark, you look so young. So when you tell your story, when you have someone else attribute positive attributes to you, it's far more powerful than you saying those things yourself. So you can, you, yeah, yeah. And so if you can be Even as self-deprecating as you want, you can <laughs> say, you know, I, I smoked a pack of Newports a day and uh, drank beers and just got fat. And now you're connecting with people because they know, you know, you're like everyone else. But the good stuff, if you notice the best of all storytellers, it's someone else saying something good about them. So he just did that. I don't even know if he knew if he did it. Maybe he did, but I don't think most people caught that. And that adds power to what he just did. So as you guys can see, I'm, I'm excited about this whole idea of storytelling and using it to, to really um, get the message across, whether you're teaching or whatever you're doing in your business. And so... Yeah, and and Dagan, just a little capstone on storytelling. Whatever it is, if it's your product, come up with your story. Your story, not the details of your product. You can throw those in as like a little fine print note. If there's a pay plan, whatever your pay plan is, oh heaven for like I don't for our pay plan, there's this thousand dollar matching commission. Well, there's a matching crap and there's the level Every pay plan has matching blue blue, you know, residual passive miracle best pay plan in the history of the world. But when I tell my pay plan, I say, you know what? I'll tell you how the pay plan works. Well, you know, let me just tell you a story. I was sitting on the beach in uh, in Hawaii with my wife. By the way, I got it with our product. Okay, so I say that, and then I say, here's the thing. I went back to my room and I checked my email and I made a thousand bucks while I was doing breakfast. Well, here's how that happened. Someone else on my team sold the product. Here's how the pay plan works. I make a thousand every time someone else does. So you see what I'm saying? You tell the story over breakfast. <laughs> you don't say, here's the pay plan and start drawing <laughs> stupid stick figures. Oh, come on. I'm telling you guys, if you, can, if you can do this kind of thing, it's just, it changes the game so radically when you can tell stories. So. I want you to learn, it might not be natural up front for you, but whatever it is regarding your pay plan, regarding your product, regarding anything, start with a story. It doesn't have to be long, but use a little story of, of how it, you know, something that is Can I, real oh, and then sorry. It slips in the details. I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, I just the, wanted to share a couple uh, counterpoints. Can, can I do that? Do I have your permission? All right, here we go. So if we want to tell a story, please, please. and this is okay. awesome, um, amazing things, made me so excited to learn this. We either want our story to go from high to low in terms of plot or from low to high. 
And so this is going to create contrast and intrigue for people to want to listen. So one of the easiest ways to get people into your stories, and if you were there in Orlando, uh, you would have heard me do this, is you can say, you know, everything's great. My life is absolutely awesome right now. Um, you know, I just found out, uh, I just finagled a way to make an extra $80,000 per month in my business. I just asked my um, girlfriend to get married and she said yes. And so I now have a fiance. I wake up every single day of my life in passion, in love with what I do. My heart is fluttering. I can't wait to start on my business. I couldn't think of a better life. But it hasn't always been that way. Back when I got started, you see, so now I went from high, I'm taking you down to low. But it wasn't always like that. We can drop our tone, we can move slower, and we can now bring some pain and desperation into, into the deal. But it's that contrast that's really awesome for people. All right, so one more tip. I, there's clearly not enough time for me to go through all this stuff and if, if, Mark, you want me to, at the event, share some of this stuff that I think is cool, also, I, I'm, I'm into this, uh, I'll do that. Or you could just have me do what most people like me to do, which is talk about traffic. But the one other trick is this. When you tell your story, I just want to add on what Mark talked about. Um, make your story about what it is you're offering people. So... If I have a product that teaches people traffic generation or helps them to get traffic, I want my story to highlight moments where traffic created positive results in my life. So think of those things, and I can think of many of them in my life, and those become the lessons that I want to share with you. The first time I ever got traffic, I remember... Um, I had put this little ad out on, on Google using Google AdWords, and I had sent some traffic to an affiliate offer, went off to work, forgot about it, came home, and oh my gosh, I, 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 I remember my, my heart just started you know, just pumping out of my chest. My, my, my body just got all warm. I couldn't contain my excitement. In fact, I had to get up and start walking around my apartment. Uh, and, 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 and all I could think in my head was really d d that quick. I mean, that happened today. I just did this today because what I was looking at in my email inbox was my very first commission. And it absolutely blew my mind that people can, you know, I can take, send people to an offer. They don't know me. I don't know them. And just because I found them and they wanted what I put in front of them. And they bought, I get paid for that. That was absolutely magic. So the first lesson I ever learned about traffic was that traffic is magic. I want you to write that down. Now, what does that do but get a person intrigued about this whole thing called traffic? So if you can turn your story into lessons around um, whatever it is you have to offer, your opportunity, uh, your product, it's going to, I mean, I, I, I sh it's going to just get them so excited about that topic. And you got to you gotta see how excited. I mean, for me, this is just exciting to share this. So um, just a couple more tips. There's a lot more, but that's just a couple that I think you guys can take away. Can you ask them um, if, if uh, that was valuable? Yeah, was that valuable? Raise your hand if you got some value out of that puppy. Because, Dick, and I got one more little caveat I got to add on story. Awesome. Because the big thing is you can tell a story, Dick, and we got lots of love for you on that. Because the, the big thing with storytelling is you can tell a story, but is it going to create money for you? Because at the end of the day, as an Internet marketer, your duty is to make money. That's what you're after. You have to make money. So tell stories that trivialize the price of your offer <laughs> trivialize however you spell true i mean get get used to that word even though i can't spell it trivialize just trivialize the off the price of the offer so if if i'm doing something on closing right if if i'm doing a product that is how to close sales what i do is i tell the story of how i remembered when I did, I took all the money I saved from high school 
I didn't spend much money in high school. I worked as a waiter. I worked as a busboy, a dish guy. I had saved about $6,000. And I took all of my money and bought leads with it when I got into this industry at like 19. God have mercy. I would spend like 2000 a month on buying leads. And I had a notebook and I took notes on every single lead, what I did wrong, why it wasn't smooth, why I did this, why it was wrong. I didn't make one sale, not, not a single sale, not one Megan, not one <laughs> yes, not even a mercy sale, not even, gosh, this kid is pathetic. I'm going to buy from him out of mercy. Nobody. But I kept these notes, right? <laughs> I kept these notes. And then what I did was I ended up out of desperation. The only place that had gave medical insurance to a guy with no degree and no education was this telemarketing company. And I went over to this telemarketing company and I worked for uh, months and months and hours. And I'd calculate the hours. It was 40 hours a week, you know, 600 hours being trained on how to speak on the phone. And here's what happened at the end of my telemarketing. My six thousand dollars of calling leads, my telemarketing, and then about at least a million plus dollars in generating revenue on the phone. I've distilled my very best secrets. Yeah, and they're yours for four hundred ninety-seven dollars. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? I just told the story. This and it was and it made sense. So the money makes sense. You can tell us great stories, but it doesn't mean people are going to be moved. Yeah. To to, uh, to see the value in the product, right? So whenever you're telling stories, it's good to throw numbers around and it's good to, it's good to price condition and build value through the story. So instead of the t traditional thing, yeah. uh, okay, I've done $1 million in sales on the phone. I've done, I've read $5,000 of products. I've done this and that and the other thing. And it's total value is $79 million and it's yours. For four ninety seven, you know that doesn't that doesn't sound as good as my story of spending all my high school earnings, taking notes, spending six hundred hours working in telemarketing, yeah. being trained how to close on the phone. It doesn't it doesn't do justice to the real value of the product. So in all thy storytelling, price condition. <laughs> Serious, you have to do it, or people don't. No matter what, I mean, the gist of it is, no matter what you're selling, it's too much money, unless it's price condition. No matter what it is, like for some of you right now, if I said, if I told you ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, you most of you would just immediately close. You'd just be, you'd just be shut off to it. Nope, not even an option. But if I told you that I had my, you know. I I just sold my company and I you know I just sold my company for ten million dollars and just as a tribute to my list, I'm gonna sell my brand new house for ten grand. Just the person that with the greatest story, whatever. Brand new. There's a brand new house. I'm in it right now, but I just cashed out big, I'm moving to a different house. I'm selling this for ten K. Every single person, Dagan on this line could come up with 10k by next week every single person absolutely even if they're in near bankruptcy they could come up with the resources for 10k i mean raise your hand if you believe me gang raise your hand if you believe me that you could or everybody on this line could come up with 10k every single person every single one of you could come up with 10k it the gist of it's the offer so my point is, if you're selling something for a hundred bucks, it's too much if you haven't taught the value of what's going on. So you really have to learn how to pitch I mean, value and, and show the value. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we could go on clearly all day, and I, but I know you've got a, a busy schedule ahead of you. That's what I got. Um, how, do we, how do we bring this all home for people? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I, we've covered a lot of things, so. Um, you know, you know I mean, well, is, I, I don't, I don't. Uh, the gist. Of I didn't really oh, have much that I was going to say, yeah, because I want to talk about a million different things right now, but I know that they would all take us down routes that you know your schedule tonight doesn't allow for. 
So the best thing I can say is um, we're going to be, well, I'm going to be doing my own badass maximum leverage event, which will blow people away in, in D.C., um, that's only for maximum leverage members, and I haven't even announced it. This is the first time I'm physically announcing the real date that it's absolutely happening on. Um, and uh, just as a bonus, because it's like you know peanut butter and jelly, Mark's going to be talking about product creation and selling. Um, if you come prepared and armed um, with how to get traffic and how to convert that traffic, how to create a funnel, and you have that understanding walking into uh, Mark's day, which I will also be in attendance of. I, I I don't know what the value on that is, but it's it's pretty darn high. And I know that we'll continue these discussions in those two arenas. And, you know, I'm just excited to, to meet folks live and, 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 and do this sort of stuff. So um, I there's a lot of value that was just thrown out there. And I don't even know what the crowd's going to be at the two events yet, but uh, I'm sure there's going to be some pretty cool people that know a lot of stuff and have spent a lot of money on their education and testing that would be really valuable to hang out with, buy a beer at the bar for, or just ask some cool questions to. So uh, the value, I think, is inherent here. Um, And I think that's where we should continue the conversation. Exactly. And we didn't, I mean, Dagan, here's the coolest thing about Dagan. We just talked about this webinar. I said, let's just make this cool for people. So we haven't really sold the blueprint very hard, but the gist of it is this. If you've gotten value from this, um, what the plus is going to do is it takes you so much deeper in how to create your own caffeine product. And then we're having seven weeks of live interactive webinars where I'm going to be taking questions from people who are creating caffeine products, people who are taking, uh, hosting their own webinars, people who are building their own teams. And if you got a little bit tonight, you're like, you know what, this Hoverson guy's got something going on. Maybe you don't. If you don't, you <laughs> don't get this course because you will be, if you don't like me, you're not going to like this course, I can promise. But if you got some value from tonight and you're like, you know what, this 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 is a capable guide. For me to go forward big time, then this plus course is can be it will be a game changer for you. And I literally guarantee it. Thirty day risk free guarantee. So dagensmith.com forward slash info blueprint dot com. You'll also get Dagan's bonus of his traffic bonanza in DC or be more. Plus you'll find out all the details at dagensmith.com forward slash info blueprint dot com. Or sorry, info blueprint. My goal is just to as Deep of impact as I okay. can have on you, I'd like to. Have well, you, it. one thing I gotta ask and make sure of is um, how is long? Because I know that you were only doing a certain Megan, number of new got. seats because you don't want to have, you know, you, you gotta have an event where people can interact. You can't have thousands of people at an interactive event and control it. So, 350 people. Um, any gauge on when this is gonna shut down? We've done this. The price of this is nine ninety seven, but it go right now. We're in the early okay. bird discount till Friday, so it's four ninety seven. On Friday, this goes to nine ninety seven, and so right now it's four ninety seven. That's the ticket. We've done about two hundred and change in sales, so we've got about a hundred and we probably got one hundred and forty five spots left, roughly. And then if we don't sell out by Friday, which we might, I mean, I don't know where we've sold a couple hundred. If we don't sell out by Friday, it goes to 997. So it's kind of a procrastination tax on things, but that's the deal. But it's going to be an intimate crowd of 350 or less. That'll be the absolute max. And it's going to be interactive. It's going to be great. I mean, I, it's just going to be guaranteed. You're going to know how to create products. You're going to have know how to do joint ventures, build teams, host webinars, create caffeine and crop products, close people on the phone. This is my uh, that sounds fair to me. So guys, uh, go check it out. You product. till Friday, you got that price or until um, the last 145 45 spots are gone. Um, you know, I'll be there. And you guys also get to come hang out in DC with me if you so choose. 
Um, I got a ton of nuggets out of this. So in order to get your ticket to DC, all I'd like you to do, please, is uh, on my fan page, which is where we started, uh, just let me know that you're in. Say, hey, you know, I'm in. And uh, that will allow me to get you the ticket information for uh, like, like I'm going to be getting to, to my maximum leverage students. And uh, that will that will suffice. So, man, thank you so much for hanging out, sharing your time. I, I learn new things, man. Uh, the, the interest to commitment to your commitments must trump other people. Absolutely blew me away. Simple, profound. You always do it. Thank you. Thank you, Dagan. Thank you. And it's good to see I mean, we just got Rashkin pop on. Hey, Aaron. Aaron Rashkin's on here. I always love seeing Aaron on things. So we got great people. So thanks for being a part of this, everybody. Lots of interaction, lots of questions. And Dagan, it's always a pleasure. To my list, there's no list. We're family. In so door. in front of my family. <laughs> so I don't take that lightly. Uh, yeah, you too. You too, man. Um, <laughs> I will catch up soon. And guys, thanks so much. Party right. time. Excellent. Love you, brother. Catch you next time. <laughs> the organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye. I'm here. Did you close it out? <laughs>